If you are looking to watch the athletic grace of punting the football and returning punts, well then we were at the wrong game for you tonight. Undefeated Canyon Springs playing host to Green Valley and the scoring starts off early. First possession of the game, Greg Banks takes it right up the middle, 35 yard touchdown run, 7 up in Canyon Springs lead. On the ensuing kickoff, here's Banks running down the field from the opposite side. He teams up with a big hit with Joe Jackson that forces the fumble. A.J. Cooper, right place, right time. He returns it for the score. Just like that, 14-0 Pioneers. Green Valley catches right back on their next possession. Little swing play, Christian Lopez to Marcus Varner. He scores from five yards out, cuts the lead in half at 14 to seven. Now, middle of the second quarter, Canyon Springs up 17 to 13. Savante Stevenson caps off a long drive with a four yard touchdown, 23 to 13 lead for the Pioneers. But on the ensuing drive for Green Valley, Lopez trying to set up a screen to Kyler Chavez. Ball comes loose and the big man, Tyrell Crosby, rumbles and stumbles his way in from 29 yards out. That cuts the lead down to 23 to 20. That's the score at the half. Second half we go, Green Valley with the football first and they drive right down the field. Christian Lopez caps it off, quarterback keeper. He scores from seven yards out. Green Valley ahead 27 to 23. And in the third is when this game really became a seesaw matchup. Drive for Canyon Springs, capped off by Stevenson with a one yard touchdown. They go for two, don't get it, so they trail 29 to 27. Here's Green Valley's turn. Lopez once again, QB keeper, takes a big hit and somehow squirms away free for the nine yard score. And Green Valley takes a 34 to 29 lead. Now late in the third, big third down play when Brad Alexander connects with Jordan Davis, breaks a tackle, gets a huge gain on the play, a personal foul, tacked on there. We're going into the fourth, Canyon Springs in business. And a couple plays later, back to the ground game. Stevenson right up the middle for the touchdown. Pioneers decide to go for two here to get it back up to a field goal lead. Bootleg to the outside. Alexander connects with the big tight end, Ezekiel Lopez. Great throw, great grab. Canyon Springs back ahead 37 to 34. The Green Valley in this back and forth game, back with the football. Lopez rolling out as well. He connects with Gio Hernandez. Six yard touchdown. Green Valley back ahead 41 to 37. So at this point, you kind of get the feeling whoever has the ball last might win this game. Back to the aerial attack. Alexander up top to Casey Allison. That ball inside the five yard line. That leads to this. Alexander on the bootleg to the outside. Two yard connection with the big man, Kyron Howard. But the point after is blocked. Keep that in mind. 43 to 41 Canyon Springs. The Green Valley knows the field goal wins it. Now, under 45 seconds to go. Gators driving. Lopez connects with Gio Hernandez. He breaks the tackle. Nice field position right now for the Gators. But then the Canyon Springs defense comes up big. Melvin Johnson comes up with a sack play, so Green Valley loses some yardage. So once again, it's going to come all on the leg of Connor Perkins. 39-yard field goal to win it. And what did you expect? That goes right through the uprights. It's good. Game-winning field goal. That's his third game-winning kick this season. And another comeback win. The final score, Green Valley 44, Canyon Springs 43. This is what all kickers live for right here, to get a game winner. And and it's just, I'm lucky enough to have three. Definitely losing some uh, years of my life because these uh, games are just crazy. So excited though, great win, great win. Stay with us this weekend. We'll be over at Coronado High School for highlights of the Halloween Hoops Tournament to kick off the high school basketball season in Southern Nevada. Until then, help spread the word. MyLVSports.com, your home for all your video highlights of prep and UNLV action.